Here's a book that I'm doing. It's called Batman the Abduction. Remember when everybody was really Whoa. into aliens? Oh no. <laughs> no! No, there's an alien in his universe and it's there Superman! There are multiple aliens. He references yeah. them by name in this book. Uh. But, like, remember when everybody was all into aliens? It was around the time yeah, that uh, X-Files de debuted. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And this came out in 1998. So, like, there's no excuse. It's just, I don't know, it took them this long. But again, it's Alan Grant and Norm Breifogel doing a prestige-bound oh. original graphic novel. <laughs> well, I'm gonna love it. I don't understand! Um. If, if, okay, I get why you did it from 1993 to 1999. Why don't you do it anymore? Mm -hmm. Like, how come you're not tossing these to the current crop of writers? Like, why aren't you telling, you know, Chip Zdarsky to write a fucking Batman original graphic novel that's only like 90 pages about Batman running in a Bigfoot or something? <laughs> this is Batman versus fucking I aliens! Know, and it, well, it's from the past where it belongs. Right. But, here's yeah, the but thing. it's already out of date. In that universe, aliens are real. Yes, but we Bigfoot also... is not. No. Not in any universe. Well. There's no character in the DC pantheon who is also a Bigfoot. Yeah. It's not like Marvel the Marvel can make universe. It work. Yeah. This is ripped straight out of 1994. Four years after the fact. Like, this is this is height of alien autopsy fact or fiction kind of shit. Mm, yeah. This is fire in the sky. Okay. 100% fire in the sky. I never saw fire in the sky. Nobody saw fire in the sky. <laughs> like, fire in the sky is... Pretty good. Yeah. It's a neat idea. The quote on the back of this is amazing. Oh, yes. In, in how horrible it is. Yeah. A blinding light, a missing hour, and later, a terrible feeling of dread. There is only one explanation. Batman has been abducted by aliens. Only one That's it. explanation. There are lots of other explanations. There are many explanations. He could be concussed. Nope. <laughs> nope. Abducted by aliens. That's, that is... The alien thing from the 90s in a nutshell. Yes. Oh, yes. well, you saw light and uh, lost an hour. You were abducted by aliens. Abducted by aliens. Didn't That's have a their MO. Yep. That's what they do. That's what they do. They are a race of beings, a specific one yep. that has characteristics which we can enumerate. Yep. And, and it's aliens. So the story opens with Batman driving the Batmobile and he's chasing after a heretofore never referred to gang that is stealing chemicals. That's what they do. Which chemicals? Various. <laughs> Various and sundry. But they also at least get the theming down, where they are wearing masks. They're scary looking. Yeah. Maybe they're actors. I right. still want to be able to project. <laughs> Those are very, like, eyes wide shut masks. Yeah. It's, like, creepy as fuck. I agree. So Batman's chasing after them in yet a new designed Batmobile because Norm Brayfogle's drawing it, and he's just like... I don't know. How about this? How about some spikes? Because nobody gives a shit. I really like this one. I, I like it too. It's you, so good. Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's cool looking. It's cool, and it, you never see it again. I, the and it's also the old style cars. There's no model sheet for the Batmobile in the 90s. There's no like, oh, you can't use that. That's off model from the Batmobile <laughs> at this era. He's a billionaire. It's just he's, he's got a, a million, million cars. Car. It's just a different one. Yeah, sometimes they would be like, oh, he's driving the Studebaker today. And I remember as a kid being really disappointed by that. <laughs> Being like, why did you ruin this story by having this old fucking car? <laughs> like, I grew up with the Batmobile from Batman 89. You yeah. know, the apex of Batmobiles. Yeah. And then you pull out this fucking clunker from Archie Comics, and I gotta put up with it in the background of this fucking chase sequence. That being said, I've turned around on that cool car. Oh, like, yeah? I do like that car a lot. <laughs> but as a kid, I was very judgmental, not like today. So... <laughs> As he is about to catch up with them, he knows. I love the narration for this. It's just like he knows he's going to catch up to them in less than a minute. And then there's a power failure, and the Batmobile just sputters to a stop. And then he is enveloped in light and disappears. Whoa. Or at the very least, he is enveloped in light, and then he thinks he disappears. Right. This is hard cut. Yeah. Hard cut to the morning. And Alfred is listening to the news talk about how the chemical gang got away. Now, that doesn't sound right. Right, like, what? Batman was chasing after like them. He would have beat the shit out of them. How come yeah. they got away? They also are alluding to the fact that tonight on the news, a UFO expert or ufologist, which they refer to numerous times, <clears throat> uh, is going to be on the show. A doctor. I assume he has a doctorate in something like history or communications. <laughs> then, also, that makes no sense. Ufologist. Yeah. Well, that's a made-up word. By Unidentified flying ologist. Ologist, <laughs> yeah. You are a ologist of identified flying things. It's a it's a UFO logist. logist. 
Yeah, no, they don't say just, UFOologist. No, they don't. Which, if they say zoological, then they should say <laughs> UFOlogical. <laughs> Alfred has pretty much timed his breakfast ritual with Batman to a T. Mm. So he can ignore it. <laughs> basically. Batman is making his way into the cave at that time. So ba Batman and Alfred, like, clandestinely meet in the middle. Batman comes out. I don't understand. Like, if Batman lost an hour, oh, I know. how he getting here on hour? time? Well, because Batman thinks that he has just left from the encounter but really he lost more than an hour by the way oh. uh, while he was it, it, the back is a complete lie ah. uh, <laughs> Batman's lost time and he gets here and he's like here's breakfast and he's like uh, are you a little early and he's like early uh, no you're late man <laughs> or actually you're right on time for dawn right and he's like but no I was just chasing some creeps in the road and the radio said it was uh, oh what the hell's going on <laughs> meanwhile he also has some like marks on his face i think that's 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 demonstrated by like showing that like there's some kind of like burning or something like mm. basically like he was microwaved yeah <laughs> yeah he's got like like, like where the like, cowl was is like okay and the rest of it's like, it's red. like tanner yeah. yeah yep yeah. so alfred's like you need to sleep if you're if you're losing time like if you don't know what time you left to get here Go to bed. Yeah, you're burning the midnight oil again. I'm canceling your appointments. <laughs> All right, go to bed. So Batman, while he's sleeping, has this dream where he's like being lifted up and taken away. And I, I hate to say this, but all of Batman's visions of being abducted really jive with any of those early to mid 90s encounters that describe being abducted by aliens. It's like, yeah. it's really true to form four years after its relevance. <laughs> so. Batman is just like full of terror and he's like kind of experiencing like sleep paralysis and eventually he awakens and he's just like no keep away from me I like that he awakens mm. himself out of Batman yeah he goes from Batman to Bruce Wayne it's great <laughs> so he wakes up in a cold sweat can't let that get in the way of the mission so he uh, there's a jeweler who works late on Friday nights or whatever and there's these you know, bad guys that are gonna rough him up and shake him down and Batman's watching over him so he swings down to scare the hell out of him and presumably break their bones. And uh, so Jewel is like, no, this was my insurance scheme. <laughs> yeah, these are my nephews. Uh, no, he grapples one of them like through a doorway. Nice. <laughs> like, he, blo he blows the grapple gun like through the glass window and then gets him and then pulls him through a fucking door, which I'm like, shock and awe. Way to go, Batman. Yeah. So they're like, holy shit. So they start to leave. Batman swings off a lamppost and when one of them drops their flashlight in fear, the light shines in Batman's face oh. and triggers a PTSD memory of his abduction. So he immediately goes back into that fever dream of being abducted mm. and he just smashes through the jeweler's window. Oh. <laughs> and so everyone leaves terrified. Yeah. And Batman's like, oh my God, I gotta get to the bottom of this because mm -hmm. I am screwing up in the field. So he yeah. goes to Alfred and he's like, okay, you gotta put me through hypnosis and figure out how I can <laughs> and help me recover the missing time. Because Alfred you, is also a skilled hypnotist. Right, among his many among talents. Among many talents. Have you ever thought of going to see a fucking doctor? I'll have to tell him I'm Batman. No, you don't. I was just driving. No. Tell them anything. Tell them any lie that's similar to your symptoms. That's true. He does see a doctor, <laughs> but uh, he also has to lie about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's a doctor that knows he's uh, Batman. Oh, yeah. What's her face? Dr. Leslie Tompkins. Yeah. Yeah, we're not using her in this. We're, we're keeping it really, like, close to the chest in this book. Like, yeah. it's very intimate. No Robins. Mm. No superheroes except well, for Batman. No rogues gallery. The weird thing is that if he went to a doctor and said he was abducted by aliens, they would believe him. <laughs> well, you mean because there either. are aliens? Exactly. Like because only a few short years ago, like an entire race of aliens invaded Earth in invasion? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or, this is or every weird. other Tuesday. Yeah, but they would say like, no, but like aliens don't abduct people though. They we invade or they the join Justice the Justice League, League. protects us from them. Exactly. The, now, shouldn't you know? Bruce Wayne does do some research about aliens and he does so under the guise of a uh, persona because he knows that if anyone were to associate Bruce Wayne with the thing he's researching, it would ruin his public persona. Like it would uh, ruin any credibility he might have as Bruce Wayne. People would think he was a quack yes. or a wacko. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but old army vet Mashes Malone can do it. <laughs> Mashes Malone does not, uh, unfortunately, take the fall for this one. He's but not a uh, ufologist. It would, it would actually jive, like that. Like Mashes Malone is just like, a, you know, an army vet. He's uh, down in his luck. He was a homeless person, and then he yeah. was abducted by aliens. And it's like, yeah, but then they would just think. Or maybe he, was on he drugs. saw some shit in Vietnam. He's oh, like, I yeah. can't explain what I saw there. Right. 
in the skies over yeah over over Nan Da Dang. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I ever heard of Matches Malone yeah was Batman Spawn Spawn Batman. Oh my God, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does use Matches Malone in that. So Batman proceeds to recount the missing time by explaining that he turned into energy and was pulled through the Batmobile and. So Batman proceeds to explain what it was like to be up in their spaceship. Right. And of course, the aliens in question, the Greys. Yeah. You, you know, know what they are. I'm like, oh, the Greys. Uh -oh. Yeah. oh. The Greys are leaning over Batman and they proceed to explain to him telepathically uh -huh. that they mean him no harm. He's paralyzed for his own protection. It's so that when they do their experiments on him, it's so that he doesn't hurt himself. Uh, we're collecting your, informa your, your your DNA information to actually create a stockpile of human genetic material for when you destroy yourselves in the inevitable wars to come. Ah. Is he not able to respond telepathically back? He does only with fear. Okay, because I'm like, hey, do you know Jean? <laughs> right. Yeah, no, no. This is all horse shit. I mean, like, in as much as Batman does not do any superheroic Batman things in this book. You know, he's not like... I steal my mind against tele telepathic intrusions, or like I, I know how to combat. Retreat this. into Zurana and just wreck the place. Like no, it's it's just this is what I experienced. They knocked me out. They turned me into energy. They brought me back into my physical form. They put me in this like stasis field, and then they proceeded to pull out like crazy bioorganic shit and shoved it down my nose. And then after they were done collecting their samples, they like offered me a tour of their ship and they showed me around. <laughs> what? Yeah. So they're like showing them around. I love the idea that We just like, love how dressed like black tie and everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's it's crazy. You're Batman. We've never abducted a superhero before. Most people are like farmers, you know, or homeless people. Or cows. Right, or cows. <laughs> so they proceed to like give them a tour of the ship, which of course is just like, it looks like a cave. It, it, it looks like the Metalunans ship where it's got all the tubes. tubes. Yeah, and it's organic and shit. And he's like, I know it's scary, but like, trust me, we're just, we're protecting humanity. How Where's your toilet in the middle of the room? <laughs> How come the other people they're working on are naked, but Batman wasn't naked when they were working no. on him? Uh, it's because they know he has a secret identity, Ethan. Yeah, they, were, they have respect for a secret identity. I guess it's just that because we need to see Batman on the deck of an alien ship. Yeah, we gotta know he's Batman. We gotta, gotta, know gotta have Batman. his outfit. I also like the fact that the aliens are wearing clothes. Yeah, they don't normally. Yeah, that's a little weird. I think it's just because otherwise everyone's naked in this book. <laughs> so the aliens are like, all right, well, you're done with the tour. We're gonna send you back. And Batman's like, they'll never believe me. I'd better take something with me. And so on the table are three completely unrelated but still distinctly alien objects. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, a data pad, a jewelry box, <laughs> and a weird musical and a, and a tuning multi tool. Yeah. <laughs> so he takes the multi tool, and then the alien goes, "No." <laughs> you uh, thought you were just saying that right in front yours. of me? Yeah, right. I love it. Uh, I don't know if they have like a concept of like theft in your society, but, but like you can't do that. That, that doesn't belong to you, yeah. so therefore you can't have it. Uh, you took my stuff. Yeah. You took my genetic code and material. Right. So I there should be some kind it. of exchange. Quid pro quo, my friend. Yeah. Uh, do you have a thing called barter in space? <laughs> yeah. So the alien is like, you can't have that, and no one else can know about this, so you're forbidden from telling anybody. Bye. And so he immediately, you know, discorporeally. You're forbidden from telling anybody. Yeah. But he's telling Alfred what right now. What are you going to do if I tell someone? So he's like, why? Well, imagine the alien, like, do not tell anybody. <laughs> Super swear. What just okay? happened? Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I will not bring you back to let you have one of these fun three items. <laughs> What's behind door number one? And I really appreciate Alfred in this because he's like, ah, you were kidnapped by aliens. No. Right. That is Definitely tabloid not. sensationalism, and I'm kind of upset that you even think that's what happened. I, I was under hypnosis. What do you want? Right. Like, well, that's that's he's subconscious. He's like, I, I, have I ever lied to you? He's like, I should hope not, but I can't prove you haven't. <laughs> Here's the thing. You have supervillains that will mess with you. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. So you Scarecrow. Yeah, what if it's just fucking Scarecrow? Yeah. Cornelius Sturk. Anybody could mess with him using chemicals. Do I believe right. that you believe that? Yes. Alfred but I even, don't believe that. Alfred barely gives him an inch of this. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, why would you even say that to me? <laughs> Why would you even say those lies? Oh, to I'm my sorry. Face? You just wasted an hour of my time. You know, I just lost some time. 
I guess you think you're not a very good hypnotist because you think that was voluntary what I just told you? Uh, so I guess I wasn't hypnotized then? I guess not. Fuck's your problem, Alfred. Can we go back? Yeah. What did he do to hypnotize him? He used a coin or a medallion and he said, like, focus on this and he twirled it. Ah. He didn't do the swinging thing. No. Just... He had a special bat coin. Mm. The hypnosis bat coin. Yeah. It's only for bat people. Right? And, uh, well, and Azrael's. Remember, Azrael's can also get, uh, like, yeah. deprogrammed or reprogrammed using a random coin. But only if it's wielded by Nomos. So, Batman's like, well, I, I think I was abducted by aliens. So we gotta follow that lead. <laughs> and, and they're totally we... different from Superman Here... and John Jones. Here's the evidence yeah, I have. Kind of alien. Nothing physical, just my word. Yeah, just what I remember. Yeah. I tried to take about... a thing, but they wouldn't let me, so I have nothing. That. Yeah, but he's Batman. He should remember what it looks like. He recreate it. Yep. So, yeah, that's true. So, like he doesn't he do that. He remembers trying to grab evidence and then being prevented from that's, grabbing evidence. That's pretty real if you've ever had a dream that yeah. you think is real. Yeah. And I've definitely had that moment where I'm like, we got. I have to take something back with me. Mm -hmm. To and prove it. To prove that I've done that this. Something prevents that way you can also it. kill Freddy Krueger in the real world by bringing yeah. him back with you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's like well, somehow your subconscious knows that that's a thing you'd want to do if you were in Here's 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 a little bit of truth. Uh when I was a kid, I dreamed that I did the Toys R Us huh, Super Toy spree? Run. Yeah. And I hid the toys in my closet so they would be there when I woke up. <laughs> Cuz I knew it was a dream. Hey, I had a dream that uh I was wearing a very specific set of clothing and I was able to be telekinetic. Uh, yeah. But so only because of the clothes. So like, I woke up and I put on that set of clothes <laughs> and I tried to move shit with my oh, mind. Damn, and it didn't work. I'm uh, sorry to hear that. That was a good try though. That is good. That is 100 percent what you should have done. Absolutely. Just I'm glad you, you tried know. it because yeah. otherwise it's like, oh, well, how would we know? We would never know. It's Alfred for no reason. Like he he follows Batman. He's just a loyal butler. They hack a satellite. <laughs> yeah. To monitor whether there was any interstellar traffic in that area at that time and guess what don't they have no. no yeah of course not don't they have the moon base <laughs> yeah right like why do you need yeah, to they hack should. a regular crappy satellite right what are you talking about go on the watchtower check yeah, it out check their cameras or whatever you do have cameras on the watchtower i i i mean you know <laughs> This is the Don't premise you, they want to go with. This is the JLA monitor space. You, you can't do this. <laughs> like, you can't have Batman get abducted by aliens. There's too many threads to pull. <laughs> you could have Robin get abducted by aliens. You know, he's yeah. all swept up in the fervor. He really liked X-Files. Yeah. And Batman's like, there's no such thing as aliens. I'm friends with the aliens. You could talk yep. to a couple of them if it helps Look, make feel better. I have all this data that right. shows that there's no aliens. But, like, Robin's a 16-year-old, so he's just swept up in it. Like, right. that would be something... It's all this that is, sugar you're having, This is Batman. the world's greatest detective <laughs> who thinks because he lost an hour while driving after probably 48 hours of no sleep, and he must assume that it was aliens abducted. You understand, I, I go 48 hours without sleep all the time. He does. Yeah. Something else must That's have happened. That's bad for your body. It's certainly not me getting tired. Right, yeah. no, no, no. Or getting not older. Breaking. No. I'm not having a psychotic break. I was abducted by aliens. So he proceeds to explain to Alfred that there are images of flying saucers throughout our history. Oh, no. <laughs> you fly a fucking bat plane. We're doing ancient aliens. <laughs> ancient aliens. It's round. Yeah, People but again, could mistake that. you know that there were alien societies and shit. So, so yes. Like, yes. But that's different. Right, like, but that doesn't, not these. It's not pertinent right. to you. But all of the evidence that you've supported is evidence that is used in UFOologists' yes. uh, reports on actual TV, so you know it's horseshit, <laughs> and they're not real. You know the real aliens are John Jones and, and the Superman Dominators and, and Superman. Yeah. Your best friend came here in a spaceship. Right. Yeah. But instead, he proceeds to talk about cave paintings and, like, alien... Uh, influence on religions oh and the idea God. of like demons being mis like aliens being mistaken for demons and like what uh, the the origin of the term Foo Fighters during World War Two. Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay, that is just John Jones though and his dragon. He's just fucking around. <laughs> That's oh, just it's one a, of the Red Martians? Yeah, that's just an errant Martian who's yeah. just screwing around. Well, that one's real. It's just so weird that, like, you could do all this with superhero stuff. Yes. But they're doing it in the context of... But the no, real world. This is like the other kind of aliens. You yeah. Know, the kind in your world, reader. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's so, like, fourth wall breaking. It's, it's really weird, and it's like, just don't question it. 
Like they're 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 begging you. We just want to do the alien issue wanna, of Batman. Yes, because everyone like, gets an alien issue. Here's the thing. Or an alien episode. Why don't we get it? Yeah. I don't have the rights to print X Files books, and I so want to. Yeah. Sorry, Topps Comics has you beat on that front. <laughs> Somehow they sniped that from you, DC. Those damn cards are theirs. But he proceeds to explain, like, you know, it leads all the way up to now where people are having, like, shared mutual abduction mm. experiences, which, by the way, around the advent of the cell phone, suddenly evaporated in our culture. <laughs> so, Batman, and then he ties it in with the crop circles. Oh, yeah, the crop circles. Which, of course, have been proven to be bunk. Yes. Uh, the face on Mars, uh. demonic possession, uh, redacted government documents, and so just he, everything. He's just gonna figure it. it out. I'm gonna crack so, the case. So he goes to a UFO convention. What? I'm like, that is. <laughs> How could there be a UFO convention? How could there be conspiracies about the government covering up aliens? Everyone knows there's aliens. Right. The whole world knows that there's aliens. No, already. no, no. We have the been cats out of the fucking this, bag. We this have to cover. We have no fewer than three human beings who work in an interstellar police force <laughs> that is run by aliens. This isn't a UFO convention where it's conspiracy theories. It's a UFO convention for people who love aliens. Yeah, they're just fans of the real aliens that we all know exist. Yes. Well, that someone shows sense. up as a that dominator. Would... Right, yeah. Like, oh I'm a Tamaranian. God. You want to have sex with me? No, it's it's all, it's, it, it is a UFO convention for the Greys and the, the X-Files aliens. nonsense. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And so Batman puts on a disguise <laughs> yep. and goes because he knows that if Bruce Wayne were seen at this thing, right. his life would be over. And he's right. Yeah. So he goes to this convention and he sees a couple people dressed up like Grays and it immediately starts triggering flashbacks. Oh boy. He starts freaking out and he's like, nah. What he's, what he's there to do is talk to the premier UFOologist and we're saying it correctly now mm -hmm. uh, because there is no such thing as a UFOlogist. That doesn't mean anything. Right. Uh, There's also no such thing as a UFOlogist. Well, it's all nonsense. <laughs> But if there were, that would be what you'd call them. Uh, but he wants to talk to Dr. Franklin Selly, who is the premier and coincidentally only uh, expert on UFOs, who is also coincidentally in Gotham for this convention. Oh, right. they're the keynote speaker, Convenient. obviously. Right? Yeah, he is. And so Bruce goes to check it out, and he sees his, like, the, the tail end of his panel, where he talks about, like, all the reasons why people might be abducted by aliens. Mm. And, like, there's a couple... Maybe you're being saved from a burning building. <laughs> Maybe yeah. a supervillain's attacking and they're <laughs> getting you off the street. Yeah, oh, I've been abducted. There's all kinds of abductions going on. I love the title, Aliens Among Us. Yeah. yeah. There are. Yeah, we know. <laughs> no, not those aliens. No, not those aliens. It'd be great if they got John Jones to like do the keynote speech and he's just like, nope. Yeah, it's not. It's just it's, it's just, just us. It's just me. It's just me, me and my friends Superman and stuff. <laughs> and the ones you've seen. But the gray ones, nope. They're what's just a, too boring. What's amazing about this is like <laughs> as like crazy as like it was for people to go to UFO conventions and is in our world, yes. it's like a thousand <laughs> times crazier in this world. Right, because it's we have like, demonstrative proof. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we know. What yeah. are you doing? Well, <laughs> So they're talking about people being abducted and someone's just like, why are aliens doing this? Like, how come they're taking us and stuff? And he's like, I'm sorry, we've run out of time. <laughs> I, I can't answer that question because that's or too specific. Or any question. Yeah. Or any question for that matter. Uh, but th there's going to be, on Sunday night, a surprise UFO event. Oh. And I think what that they that they keep saying UFOs, but they keep showing the greys. And I think that's their way of trying to like differentiate from mm. just saying aliens because of how many fucking aliens there are in the DC <laughs> right. universe. Right. Like the, in this world in the DC universe all the fervor and conspiracy it's about, it's about a specific Type. race of aliens it, that they are keeping under wraps that's that like, use UFOs right yes. that use wish... flying saucers yes no, yeah. no 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 that's identifying them <laughs> yeah no these are UFOs <laughs> right I, I wish it were just the greys but it also ties into other shit that's connected to the, the, the school of thought when it came to conspiracy theories and UFO study yeah. in the mid '90s, okay, uh, but it is primarily the Greys, which right. don't have an identity and aren't a cataloged alien race in the DC universe, right. so we can use them. So Bruce goes to meet with Doctor Selly, and he's like, "All right, so yeah, I got abducted by aliens, and I want to talk to you about it because, like, you seem to know what you're talking about." And I'm like, "Batman, Jesus, Batman!" And this isn't like a Legend of the Dark Knight book that takes place in like his first two for three years. <laughs> <laughs> where he's still a greenhorn. Like, this is real Batman. Yes. This is prime Batman. This is also, 
what background did he create to suddenly get access to Dr. Selly? Shouldn't he be super famous? He'd have better access as Bruce Wayne. Yeah, but but how did he get in to see this guy? I oh, guess he just he just walked briefcase in. Briefcase full of money, I no, guess. No, he set it up like he when he goes to like register, they start like giving him the runaround and he proceeds oh, to like he tells like a lie. He puts on like a tag like he has some kind of VIP access. Yeah, cuz he okay. I mean, the fact is he probably just paid the $127 and now he has VIP access to this con. Like <laughs> That includes like a free t-shirt with an alien on it. So oh, Dr. Like, Selly, uh, if you want the standalone meet and greet, that's exactly. $500. That's 500 bucks. He's like, you do get a t-shirt sure. that says, I got probed and all I got with his last t-shirt. <laughs> so he's like, I got, so he tries to tell him as much as he can about the experience without also saying he was Batman. Right. And What uh, were you doing when this happened? Right, he doesn't oh, ask. Good, yeah. he, Chasing um, speeders on the highway. <laughs> right. Of a cop. He, he doesn't even You're bother. a cop? No. <laughs> no. Why are we chasing speeders? Uh, I'm a vigilante. Oh, that's worse. No, no, not that kind though. Uh, oh no, no, like a like a crazy person. <laughs> oh right. Uh, okay. Can we start over? <laughs> so, Hi, I'm Batman. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> shit. This always happens. Snap. <laughs> All right. Back to the drawing board. Time to wait for next year for a better UFO. Alex. Alfred, I need a cleanup crew. <laughs> okay, so. Let me guess, like the rest of it, you can't prove it was real, but you know in your heart it was. And he's like, yes! And it's, like, it's like, yeah, you're full of shit. No, he doesn't. I'm a because, shyster yeah. and I'm just playing all these people. That'd be and amazing. You so I was like, it's all horse shit, man. That's how I know that you have like a mental disorder. <laughs> but no, he's just like. But hey, like you look like you're money. So you and me can swindle these people. Yeah. Exactly. So you, now, yeah. Yeah, now, now you're it. Now you know. Now, you're, now, now you're part of it. <laughs> like, okay, that's interesting. But like, why? Why do they do it? Like, like that guy asked earlier, how come they do it? And he goes, well. Actually, there's like a hundred theories about why. Right. And he proceeds to like unveil most of them. Huh. Uh, oh, he also gives Bruce tea. And uh, mm. this is like punctuated by when Alfred gives Bruce tea in the morning, the teapot like shines with this like crazy glimmer hmm. as though it's like in some way related to oh. the whole story. It's like a T is the theme of the story. They might as well just put an arrow. Like, this is a thematic Jeez. element of the story. Hey, look at this. But, uh, Bright lights and shit. Yeah, so it's like it's an item in a video game that you're supposed to pick up. Yes. <laughs> so Sally pours, not Bruce, Mr. Jason. Mm. And he uses two first names. Mr. Though. Jason? Yeah. I'm God like, damn it, well, he's clearly it. tired. Uh, but he <laughs> gives him some tea <laughs> and proceeds to explain, like, all of the different theories about how they're benevolent or they're warmongering or they're <laughs> creepy scientists or they're, you know, just researchers. Oh, so but it's anything. They it, could be anything. It could be Maybe anything. they're from a doomed planet and you they're trying to save it. Nothing. But each time that he explains it, like another face comes off of him and says it like in, in contradiction. Oh. You know, he's like, maybe they're benevolent. He's like, no, they're evil and they want you. And like, he's enveloped in this swirling psychedelic look that follows him and it's freaking him out. Like Batman's yeah. like, yeah! And then he cascades into an ocean of faces that are all this doctor That's being like, amazing. these are what they are and actually they're demons or maybe they're time travelers and all this other stuff. And he's like, yeah! And he's like, oh, whoa, are you freaking out, man? <laughs> oh, you cannot handle your acid. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry, I, I think my eyes are playing tricks on me. He's like, oh, hallucinations is a byproduct of your abduction experience. Also uh... the acid I gave you. <laughs> Yeah. And he's like, listen, listen, I'd like to hypnotize you. And he's like, no! And he goes, no, not that. No. And he goes, look, uh, you said you were also abducted. And he's like, oh, yes, when I was a child. And I've seen them many times since then. Uh, and, and, and Jason's like, Bruce Wade is like, come on. And he's like, don't come look at me on, like that. Man. I was abducted just the other day. Right. It happens all the time. Yeah. Let me Sometimes show you. I get abducted nice right lunch now. and uh, then I get abducted for let, a little let while. Let me show you what I mean. And then he proceeds to like sidle up next to him and puts his hand on Bruce's hand, and the two of them proceed to astral project out of their bodies what? and into the uh, looming UFO that's just outside of orbit. Uh, what? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. No. So they proceed to go into the ship and they're like, oh, look, there are the aliens and there are the other abductees. There are some other people who are unfortunately being traumatized right now, like you and I. And look at what they're doing. And it's, oh my God. And then we go into like the laboratory. We see that like they've harvested their embryos and their brains and stuff. And they're like, oh, they are clearly bad news. And uh, uh oh, this is bad news. This is worse than I thought. They have a reptoid working with them. Oh no. Another species of alien that works in conjunction with the Greys. Oh my god. Which it's Deep Space Nine. It's 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 
classic alien yeah. bullshit. There's I, actually two factions of aliens. There was. Like, I remember like going down the rabbit hole of like r- the early mm-hmm. internet and all that crap, and like discovering the blues. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and I remember going, oh no. Oh, oh, oh if they're a grays, there have oh. to be blues. I was like, no, this yeah. is horse shit. X Files did that too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. yep. As you got deeper in, it was like actually there's multiple. How could why how why you're so naive? Why would you think yeah. there's only one other species? That's why when there's different episodes where they behave totally differently, yeah. it's not inconsistent. It's that there's different species yeah. or whatever. Well, and these are greys that have like hair and like horns, but then there's there's literal lizard men that see their astral forms, and so they have to leave before they get zapped by their laser guns. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. This was real. <laughs> I hope it is, right? It's like, oh man, I hope you're not just tripping balls. <laughs> but how great would it be if like, it, this was real and it's just this doctor who like has the ability to it. astral project. Yeah, yeah. And he, like, power. Act, he makes other people astral project onto the alien spaceships. Yeah. And they're just pests. Right. Like, the reptoids are like, oh no, get him uh, out of here. Get the fuck oh, out of here. Get him again. He's Come on, back. shoot. So Batman like leaps up and he's like, that was unbelievable. And he's like, oh yes. And it really did happen. Yeah. <laughs> But <laughs> it's totally real too. <laughs> it's totally real. And uh, if yeah, you pay I, me fifty thousand dollars, uh, <laughs> sure, I'll take you we, again. We can go again. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, "Oh no, a reptoid! That's bad news. That means that like it's it's more advanced. We're, our plans are gonna have to be accelerated." And he's like, "What plans? What, what are you talking about?" Oh, we'll need funding, Doctor <laughs> Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Bruce plays a doctor. Or Mr. Jason, whatever. Yeah, Mr. Jason. This is this is Dr. Selly. So Selly's phone rings coincidentally yeah, at that a moment. Tr- pyramid scheme, right? Yeah. yeah. So he answers it and he's like, I'm sorry, but I, I have I have to discuss another element of aliens and how they're related to like religion. So I'm I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. It's like you have to t- go down I have to take someone else down a different rabbit hole right now. Yes! <laughs> I have another but, uh, appointment. It's my three o'clock. Here's my card <laughs> and uh tell three friends so they right. can bring money too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So he leaves, and he's like, you know, uh, we'll, we'll love to meet again. And he's like, oh, I look forward to it. So he goes into the limo, and he hooks up with Alfred, and he's like, did you get anything? And he's like, no. I'm more confused than ever. It was much worse. Uh, Alfred, can you do a quick talk screen on me? <laughs> you know, he should. doesn't. And it's like, Jeez. what? So but he's like, well, the night beckons. I got to be Batman. So he goes to be Batman, and he's dealing with more of these, these, these fucking these chemical fucking chemical thieves. guys. Jesus. He proceeds to kick their ass. And then tie them up, and he's like, "All right, let's see who you really are, Mister." And starts mm-hmm. reaching for their their crazy eyes wide shut golden chemical mask. But then a light shines off of a mask, and he trips balls again. No, when he reaches for their masks, he feels a, a sharp pain in his head, mm. and he turns around and he feels a presence. Someone's behind him, and so he sees there's three men, three besuited wet men who all look the same, who are bald, who are bald, and it's like, oh, these are greys that are impersonating humans that yeah. are like, that are like, hey. We told you not to get involved. Like, what are you doing here? Like, how come you're telling people about your experience? So if you disobey us again, like your parents and your family are gonna be harmed. He's like, (laughs) ha ha, joke's on you. (laughs) And he just grabs one of them. He's like, you have no idea who I am. And I'm gonna fucking, ah, I'm freaking out, man. And he's like, you got two seconds to tell me what's going on. And then suddenly Bruce Lee appears. Okay, I'm done with this book. <laughs> this was fun, All right, and so now it's just weird. Well, I mean, obviously, it's not real. No. None of this is fucking real. So Bruce Lee appears, and he's like, this can't be. You're dead. And Bruce Lee says, ooh, <laughs> because that's what it says. Don't blame me. Yeah, but I mean, that's, that's what, what he, he sounded did. like in yeah, a movie. He yeah. did that, yeah. And he proceeds to fight Batman, and he's incredible. You know, because he's Bruce because Lee. Because he's Bruce fucking Lee. And then Bruce Lee splits into four Bruce Lees, and they all beat the crap out of Batman. Oh and Batman God. proceeds to, like, you know, showcase his incredible martial arts, I guess, because Grant realized, oh, we haven't had a fight scene in, yeah. like, forever. Someone needs to punch yeah, He can't punch an alien. So how about Bruce Lee? That'd be cool. I'm sorry. There is no way that he could, f- he could beat four Bruce Lees. <laughs> That's fair. But, I mean, it is Batman. He is the apex of human achievement. Right. Yeah, but not for Bruce Lee's. Haven't well, you always He could go to toe-to-toe with one. Batman fight for Bruce Lee's? I've never thought of it. <laughs> it's never occurred to me. Who would win in a fight, Batman or for Bruce Lee's? Well, uh, this book answers, who, who, dares to answer that question. Who would win in a fight, Bruce Lee or Batman? Uh, Wait. Batman. What about for <laughs> Bruce Lee's? Does Kareem <laughs> Abdul-Jabbar also show up? Because he was in that movie. He does not. Who's that? That's, that's the kook. Oh, who's the kook? That's a thing? Yes. Okay, oh, never mind. I thought it was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from Enter the now. Dragon. 
So uh, Bruce Lee Four gets like an elbow shot into the back of Batman's head, and then when he looks up, he sees this new character called the Kook, and the Kook is floating above him. Uh, Batman sitting, is the kook. Yeah, <laughs> sitting crisscross applesauce being like, oh, excuse me. And Batman's like, oh, okay, what's going on here? And he's like, oh, well, I, yeah, I have a are. special way to, like, protect the world. And he's got, like, all these different, like, charms Sigils. around his neck. Yeah, yeah, and they all represent, like, every single, like, belief system out there. And yeah, like, woman, man, <laughs> DNA. Exactly. So he's like, you can help me and and save mankind. Coolie the Springs Bright. The kook is like, help me save mankind from the thrall of the alien menace from the UFOs. They're like, aliens are basically, the aliens made us and they're controlling us and they're puppeting our lives. Uh, and so uh, I am the only thing that stands between mankind's you? like save, salvation or oblivion. Yeah, the kook. <laughs> Who has a bone that he wields like a, you know, like a magic wand. Or a gavel. So That's Batman goes, yeah, so Batman goes to Alfred and he's got all these wounds and Alfred's like, I mean, Dude. it looks like you fought for Bruce Lee. Exactly. I'm not gonna lie. Exactly. I did. <laughs> That's what it was. And I was like, okay, I quit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I quit. Done. That's it. But he's like, I, it has to be a hallucination. It was fucking Bruce Lee. And then he turned into four Bruce Lee's and he beat my ass. And he's like, well, you didn't hallucinate the fact you have bruises. And he's like, well, didn't you see the Matrix? Oh, wait, that doesn't come out yet. Uh, because like, if you, you know, if, if you're your in your mind, mind your real. mind makes it real. And it's like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't make bruises. If I fall in a dream. And I break my nose. I didn't break my nose. Yeah. I'm sorry. My nose is not just gonna, well, like, that just means you didn't believe break. it enough. Yeah. I guess not. <laughs> so he's just like, if I believed I was beaten up, maybe my mind produced these, you know, bruises. These, these bruises. And then Alfred pinches him and he's like, ow, why'd you do that? And he's like, I'm just, you know, trying to help you if you were dreaming. Because <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing you talk about aliens and hallucinations. And he's like, wait a minute. I wasn't dreaming. I've been drugged. Oh, I'm yeah. an idiot. No Hooray. shit. So he proceeds to do a talk screening and he's like, uh-huh, yeah, I have something foreign in my bloodstream. So he proceeds to like spend all day synthesizing an antidote and uh, he takes the antidote and then uh, he dresses as Batman and Alfred shows up. He's like, how'd it go? And he's like, okay, well, I feel, I no longer feel confused or vague. I'm like, that, well, that's good. That's a, that's a description of this book is confusing and vague. <laughs> But so he, Batman solves the problem by just like being Batman for like the first time in this book. In this book, yeah. Uh, so he's like, what about the headaches you're I, having? And he goes, no, those are worse than ever. Things are worse than ever now. <laughs> <laughs> no more gray aliens. Fair. He's like, all right, so I got to do a CAT scan. Thankfully, we have a CAT scanner in the Bat Cave. So he yeah, proceeds to go into it. And they both see that there's something in his brain. Oh, so it's more than just drugs. No, yeah, that's right. That's right. So Alfred like does surgery on Batman and like pulls out what is another check mark for Yep, an what, alien implant. An alien implant. No. He says an alien implant. Alfred says. calls it an alien implant. Yep. Yeah, and then now Batman looks believes. like embarrassed seal. Yeah. Oh, as well really? he should be because <sighs> there is something chemically going on, but also what of this alien implant? Yeah. Uh, it's all of it. All, all of it. All of it at the same time. All, everything at once. <laughs> Holy crap. He gets the, the slightest bit of, like, progress. Mm -hmm. Being like, oh my god, I've been drugged. Oh, that makes oh, more sense okay, than anything else that was happening in this book. Also, you have an implant in your brain. Holy shit! <laughs> I knew I was abducted by aliens! <laughs> God, we were making such good progress. Oh, so close, man. <clears throat> Selly proceeds to put himself in a, a sensory deprivation tank that he has in his hotel room or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Astro projects again and goes to visit the aliens and he sees what they're doing. And he's like, okay, I've got this like special equation that I'm going to use. This like <laughs> this chemical formula that I'm going to use that will like liberate mankind from these aliens. This anti-life equation. It's not. <laughs> I wish it were. It'd be so great if like... He thought he was like he's so oh one track minded that he like thinks aliens and it's like no 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 you just you just inadvertently tapped into like the new Genesis barrier. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird mother box. Yeah, like you yeah. yeah. You're just interrupting your unique brain waves interacted with like the mother box Wi Fi signal. And so oh that you get your God. wires. It'd be so fun and instead it's just He's just doing fucking Dark Side's like bidding. Right. Yeah. He doesn't even know it. <laughs> they're oh not God. reptoids, they're uh, parademons. <laughs> oh my god, what a way better idea. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit. We just cracked this book. Why does he have to be in a sensory deprivation tank to astral project but before he just did it? Well, because the-, the Oh, the, it's just nice. The, it's the, fun. The, the, the lizard aliens like zapped at him. Oh, right. Laser. This is, he needs he'll a special be stronger ability now. Yeah, okay. 
Also, I have no idea that it's fun. I've heard it. I've always wanted to try a sensory too, deprivation chamber. But also, I don't. I like, feel it like sounds I would like freak it's mad. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I remember one time, the first time that I went to the Liberty Science Center, I, I, they'd been hyping yeah. up the touch tunnel. And I was just like, oh man, I can't wait. Like, I, I love finding things in the dark. And this mm. is going to be. And I, then I find out that it's like this small box you climb into. And I went, nope. <laughs> found out I was claustrophobic. I literally put my face in the box. I was like, it was utter dark. I'm like, no. I was the only one in the class that didn't go in the touch. <laughs> oh, wow. I was like, nope. Nope. I'm good. I was with everyone. Yeah, we're going to go in the touch tunnel. Like, nope. <laughs> like, the fear was instantaneous <laughs> and crippling. It overwrote any sense of, like, decorum or modesty that I might have had. I was like, hey, man, we're just pounding around. We're 11 years old. Let's do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's fucking. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. no that no. is death. That's so no. death right there. Sensory no. deprivation tank. Like, you know it's not free. So it's like, yeah. I'm going to plunk down like 250 bucks. And like, all right, get in the tank. Okay, get me out of here. No, you got to call him first. <laughs> you got to call him and be like, hey, is there a refund policy if it turns out I'm suddenly claustrophobic? No, yeah. we got to clean the tank. If I freak the fuck out. Your gross yeah, body's going to be in the water. I got to flush the tank. <laughs> you know, they put you in the tank. Then they just close the door like as the lid shut. You're like, no. <laughs> Let me out. That's it. That would be me. No question. Yeah. I want to try it. I, I want to. And I should, maybe... There should be a five-minute refund policy. You've been in so. for five minutes. Get the fuck out of here. Because a lot of people must be scared to do it, There's right? There's no way they aren't. How yeah. do you get people in there if you don't have some kind of refund? <laughs> you have to. <laughs> yeah, what's the incentive other than just yeah. self-preservation? So I'm just going to seal you in this box. and uh, No. Full of water. <laughs> and uh, and no. you can't feel anything or sense anything. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, uh, I have a question. <laughs> Why would I ever want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Because you're too afraid to try drugs. <laughs> That's why, right? It's the only reason. That you I got wanna, me. I want to feel different. Hundred percent correct. I, I, I want to feel fucking different. I want my brain to do a different thing. Yeah, yeah but no, I I'm want it to drugs. do it on its own. I don't want something else to do it to me. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to fall down. That's it. I want to do drugs, but I also don't want to fall. Yep. <laughs> or set myself on fire. <laughs> like okay. Well then, then maybe this well, test, we maybe this tank. sensory deprivation tank is nothing for you. It's way more complicated. Than more the, expensive but, uh, and complicated. Yeah, and but you know, I guess if that's what you want. But out. so you're not gonna throw up afterwards from you know food poisoning. That's right. Yeah. Don't jerk off in the tank though. <laughs> so, okay, they said not to jerk off in the tank. Everybody jerks off. Everybody jerks off in the tank. That's why we still have a, have a half. That's hour. why we have to keep yeah. refreshing the water. <laughs> well, they said don't jerk off in that. That must mean all the people jerk off in the tank. I'm definitely gonna do that. That means that that definitely happened. Yeah. <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't be the first one. No, exactly. Here's Woo. the thing. Okay. When you suddenly see the <laughs> lights and sounds and you have an out-of-body experience and you masturbate, yeah. you can never go back to normal masturbation. No, it's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't your cough. This is a reservation, Jake. Don't oh, do you it. Did. Okay. okay. Okay, well, if you want, we can sell you one for $3,000. Yep. That's the only way you're ever going to be able to get off again. <laughs> yep. Congratulations. Yeah, we you got you. You your life. <laughs> Well, but that beats autoerotic asphyxiation. That's because, true. At least, because at least you're not going to die. Like, well, you may drown. Damn like, it, Dad's in the tank again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the gateway drug to that. Oh, yeah. I feel like maybe. I, the thing is, I've never tried either, so I have no idea. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know, and I never will. <laughs> well, I'd never say never. <laughs> so Batman is looking at this alien implant <laughs> under a microscope, and he's like, it doesn't come up on any of our scans. Like, we don't, it, it, it doesn't register in anything. Mm-hmm. But you're seeing it too, and Alfred's like, "I wish I wasn't." Wait, any of our scans? Yeah, like I, I put yeah, it under an analyzer. It it does, it it's, yeah, it's like it's it like, comes up like unknown. Yeah, it unknown doesn't come material. up like it's not there. Right, right? exactly. Right, right. Well, it's, it's just, just like I, don't, I can't characterize it. Yes, so it's like Batmanium. So he puts it into his bat belt, and he's like, "I'll send it to Star Labs later." Oh, Star Labs exists. <laughs> That's maybe where you should have gone first. Hey, you know what? I'll do you one better. Hey, Clark. <laughs> Could you do a quick sweep around the earth and just take a look for any UFOs? <laughs> Sounds like my friend Bruce is cracked, but okay. Nope. All right, no, there's none. Could you do a quick X-ray scan on me? I don't actually have to even me? go anywhere. I just look up into space. I, yeah. No, I don't see one. There's nothing there, Bruce. Let me like look through the earth and see the other side. <laughs> nope. Nope, still good. John, can you just telepathically link with me and like look through my thoughts? Oh, yeah. Sure. You were not abducted by aliens. Ah. Oh. Thanks. Okay, cool. I guess we don't have to have a whole book. <laughs> There's a sequel to this. No. What? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Right, let's, let's get, get to, to the, the end, end first. Yeah, and then determine <laughs> how insane that okay. is. Okay. So he's like, all right, well, at least I'm thinking cr- clearly again. I, I, I'm going through the same experience that, like, both Selly and the kook. Maybe those guys are connected in some way. Was the kook made up for this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It was the first and not only appearance of the kook. I just want to make sure that he didn't, like, pre exist. No, there's no. no other appearance of the kook before this. This is the first appearance of the kook. Because they didn't want to ruin it. So it's worth a character. lot because, you know, 
One day, Zdarsky's going to put the kook into his Batman run, and it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. So, so Selly gets out of the tank, he's done jerking off, and <laughs> joins his crew. Oh, purple goo. And, and there's all these people there who are like, bravo, you jerked off of the tank, we love you. When he puts on a suit, and he's like, all right, like, the aliens' plans are way too advanced. Like, he's like, all right, I spied on the aliens, the time is nigh, let's go. He's got his, like, followers, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, well, all I want you to do is drink this Kool-Aid. Yeah. Like, just tie it in with fucking hail bop And, uh... No, you don't drink the Kool-Aid. Yep. You drink the liquid from the sensory deprivation tank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. So, so it turns out that all of these followers of his are going to dress like the Greys. And he's And one of them is like, oh, when we have the Cosmos sprays all set up to go. And there's these, like, tanks that, they're, that have, like you know, spray nozzles on them. Oh, no. And he's like, yes, the UFO event is scheduled for tonight, and we dare not fail, because otherwise the aliens will end the human race tonight! Because the idea here is that Selly is like, no one believes that aliens are real. So we'll use this Cosmos drug that we developed from stealing all of these chemicals, because yes, Selly is the yeah, ringleader of, of the, chemical. the chemical gang that we introduced in this book. Right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to stage this massive UFO event. We're going to spray everybody with the Cosmos, which is what uh, Batman was infected with, of course. And uh, so everyone will have this like shared mass hallucination of an alien ship and these greys coming out. So they'll believe that the aliens are real. So they will join in their fight against the actual alien threat Which that he believes is definitely real. Definitely are real though. Yeah, it's and like, I, I just, I need to lie to everyone and trick them into believing they're real in order to prove is real. It's a UFO <laughs> event, just offer free drinks. Right. Yeah. yeah. Punch and pie. <laughs> No, because it has to be, it, it has to be everyone else. Even the news has to, like, they got to show up and see it. It's fucking amazing. He knows that he can induce a hallucination yep. that will make you think aliens are real. Yep. But he actually saw aliens. Yeah. <laughs> it's certainly not awesome. the drugs that I'm taking. Nope. That's so Batman amazing. swings in and uh, accosts Selly. Yeah. And then Selly turns into Blockbuster, a Batman villain that we don't really use very much, and beats the shit out of him. And it's just like, it is rough. Like, I'm getting the crap kicked out of me. This wow. guy's harder than four Bruce Lee's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Blockbuster, like, picks up a fucking palm tree and throws it into Batman's spine and then turns into the kook. The kook. That it's means the Selly and kook are the same person. Oh! The kook, I should have known. And the kook is like, yes, I'm Franklin Selly's better half. I'm the half that's here because, like... Because of the effects of the drug. Because like the, aliens. Because of the Cosmos drug. Because the Cosmos right. drug... The Cosmos chemical drug thing, it isn't just affecting, like, you. It affects those around you because it taps into, like, your... It makes you conjure hallucinations so that you can have shared hallucinations among people near you as well. What? Yeah. It's a drug that not only makes you trip, yeah. it makes other people see the trip that you're tripping. Yes. How? Okay. Does it spread from you? No. Or your mind is actually able to induce that hallucinations one. that other people because you're actually a little bit telepathic. <laughs> the, the, the drug <laughs> makes you telepathic. I see. It grants you telepathic abilities. Right. I wish that were followed up at any point. I mean, like, that's an interesting idea, yes. actually. Because it's a comic book, so you can do shit like that. Where it's like, there are superpowers, and there's a drug that'll give you superpowers for like a minute. Right. This could just have been a Mad Hatter book. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, but then I wouldn't have invented a character that, you know, <laughs> no one will use ever again. Yeah. yeah, but if you want shared hallucinations, boom, there you go. I agree, I but like that would be so crappy to have the to to to, to ruin the, hurt the Mad Hatter by yeah. mucking him up in this stupid alien story. The kook still thinks he's like telepathic and stuff. It's not that he's like had so much exposure to this fucking shit. Right. That he's like able to. I know there's a drug that would give me the exact power set that I believe but, that but I, I have. But I actually am telepathic. I actually do stuff. have that power set, even though I do also consume that drug all the time. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Just like there are really aliens, but I need to trick you into <laughs> thinking aliens are real to believe it. <laughs> oh, okay. What about the implant? Oh yeah, no, it was a hallucination. Oh, because Alfred. Because Alfred saw it. He made yeah. Alfred see it too. That's why it didn't register as anything because it wasn't actually real. Yes, but uh, huh. when Batman asks, like, why did you make me? hallucinate yeah. being abducted Why by aliens. Why would you do all this? The kook is like, I have no idea what you're talking about. That was not part of my plan. I have no idea what you mean. So I then, mean, he was obviously chasing the car that had the drugs in oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we need some plausible deniability so that there could be some <laughs> question. <laughs> Batman's just like, no. 
all of you people who are beating the crap out of me are stupid. He he's th th he's a charlatan <laughs> and like an addict. He's just like <laughs> addicted to his own drug. Like you're all brainwashed into thinking aliens are real. Uh, by the way, they've uh, made their way onto like the because the whole climax takes place at the convention center right. and so they're on the roof of the hotel connected to the convention center and so the kook like bonks batman on the head and they proceed to tie him up up and drop him upside down in a steam shaft above the hotel huh. which is horrific like the concept of this is like so real and so claustrophobic <laughs> as previously established yeah no You're just like no Right. So Batman's like, okay. He wakes up. He's like, all right, after a couple of hours, I should be able to like free myself from these ropes. <laughs> and uh, so he frees himself like immediately from his like wrist bindings, but he's still like hanging and at an angle and it's really narrow. Yeah. Crammed in there with no stimuli around him, his mind starts to wander and he is mocked by his rogues gallery who are laughing at him. Not for believing in aliens and stuff, <laughs> which is what they should be laughing at him for, but instead for like being stuck in this out in, in this yeah. shaft and being then beaten by the kook yes even bane's there being like oh <laughs> you can't tell by my I face but i'm bane. mocking you <laughs> look at bane's voice forever <laughs> even before it was established even before that it was always that yeah. no <sighs> so then steam shoots out and it's like really oh fuck yeah and he's like ah well he'd be dead right maybe bad or he'd have third degree burns all over his body yep so uh People start seeing, like, the genuine UFO that's descending from the sky. Uh -huh. This is not a hallucination. This is a fucking prop that's being held up by, like, a winch. Yeah. Uh, so Batman oh, is like, God. oh, fuck. Like, but the... It's a big pinata, everyone! <laughs> Get your sticks. So Batman is, like, wedged in the shaft. Like, his shoulders are too broad. So he dislocates his shoulder, frees himself, climbs out, and then resets his shoulder. And then... <sighs> calls Gordon and he's like listen you gotta get to the convention center uh, it's gonna be really stupid <laughs> so the, the whole thing the UFO is like there and all the crowd is in attendance and like there's news crews and everybody and they're all like oh my god there's actually UFO because of course like they all came to the UFO convention right. like they believe they're they're, amped it took to believe one it, yeah. it took no pushing or yep. prodding to get them to believe it anyway but so now the, they're all being gassed and they're you know now it's real now real. it's really real so the kook opens the door and the aliens show up and they're just blasting them with chemicals and he's just like, like yes yeah, spray me, spray me. <laughs> <laughs> be on us all you would have to say is like i'm gonna be giving away free hallucinogenic drugs <laughs> yes yeah, oh sweet that Take it. so many people would be there anyway yeah are you kidding me no but we got to get the people who are even unwilling to believe it yeah. so uh, they start seeing like the armadas and all the alien ships mm. that may or may not actually exist right or filling up the skies and they're like there's aliens everywhere they're real how what a fool i was to doubt that aliens are real <laughs> and batman's like oh okay so then he he grabs the like he grabs like the the controls for the winch that has the UFO in the air and he just pushes it down. So the alien ship just crashes into the ground. It should have killed thousands of people, but instead it just, it, everyone gets everyone out of the way. Everyone just gets out of the way just in time. It just shatters. Into the and air. the people inside the UFO are also oh, fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, they no, just fall out. They have good. massive broken bones. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they fall out of the thing and he's like, everybody get back and don't breathe the mist. And it's like, dude, the death ship too late. Sailed, my friend. Sailed. Oh, I literally man, have to I, breathe I've been breathing the whole time. <laughs> but Gordon has like a rag, so that's good enough. Oh, okay. And Batman's hey, like, it worked for uh, what's his name in Batman '89. That's true, yeah, yeah. That's true. So Batman, it tells Gordon like, I've got an antidote. We'll give everybody the antidote in a minute. Right, out, right after I punch this guy. Good thing I manufactured enough for like 500 people. Well, I made it for myself, and then I'll give it to you or Star Labs, and they'll mass manufacture an antidote. What was the plan for all these people? What oh, was he gonna do with them? He wanted to have all these people like believe in aliens. Right. Then, so that he could be rich. Then? No, and then they could battle the like scourge of the actual alien oh, menace right. that doesn't exist. So and what's I, really the threat here of Batman failing to follow this I, nefarious I that, scheme? The fact that like the fact that Selly has like some minuscule amount of like mental telepathic ability. Right. And that like their combined hallucinations may actually augment his kook powers to make oh. him like more formidable or at the very least more influential. Okay. Does he have a plan to be like, and then after the after this, then we'll get the whole world to do? I you mean, know. I'm sure that's the plan. But yeah. he he's he's really more. I think it's more like if I get Gotham or just the people who go to the <laughs> convention center in Gotham and the news to report on it, like it's probably written in 1994 or five. So like, we think that alien fervor is at its 
apex right now and so like all we need is for like the news to say right. that aliens are real and i saw them and then for everyone everyone to will believe believe and and be then, a catastrophe yes so batman has to stop it yes he has uh, to stop everyone from being wrong that's right so the kook faces batman and he tries to hypnotize him or use his like kooky and powers to get him and batman's uh -huh. like no and he just punches him in the head <laughs> nice and he goes you named yourself well because you are a kook and then uh yeah. uses his antidote on the kook he drops his ability to like project his kook persona and then is oh. like, how did you do it? How did you use your powers to make me think that I was abducted by aliens? And he's like, I didn't do that. Okay, are you just saying that or do you actually yeah. believe that you didn't do it, but you right. still did? So Gordon shows up and he's like, all right, I'll arrest that guy. And he's like, no guys, aliens are real. It's a, please, everybody saw the ships. They'll believe it too. And then everybody just like goes to like get their, get their medicine. <laughs> And, uh, How do they convince these people to take a drug? Right? I, I mean, like, it's Gotham. They just put, they just set up a perimeter. They're like, hey, everybody, those way. aliens you saw weren't real. Let me give you this drug. So, <laughs> so uh, you don't no. Anymore. Please, what? What? I already believed in them before. Why would I want to not believe in them? <laughs> yeah, I saw them. It was more vivid than anything I've ever seen. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm yeah. not doing that. I'm going home. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, you're under arrest. <laughs> you shouldn't even have For to, what? like... Give I'm, it to I'm them. I'm convincing. I'm, 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 I'm declaring martial law. Just put it in the sprayer anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they should do. Just spray the people. Just spray everybody. Just spray all yeah. of Gotham. We just need to hold you for a second. Uh, Hang on, everyone. Scarecrow uh, took hold of one of our blimps, and he sprayed all of Gotham. Oh, no. It was benign. Yeah, his, uh, his drug didn't work, so you're all so fine. So you're all fine. Also, in a happy byproduct is you don't believe in fucking aliens anymore. <laughs> uh, so Batman, oh, but that was my whole life. <laughs> yeah, well. Get one. So Batman checks his belt, and he's like almost sad to say that the... It, it, you know, the implant's gone, because of course, because yeah. it never existed. Yeah. But there are some mysteries that even Batman can't solve. And I'm like, fuck do you. Do 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 except do he completely do solved do this entire do mystery, do except for one stupid arbitrary element that Yeah, which is like, where no did my like, hour go? And it's like, you were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there's a sequel to this, and... He wasn't asleep. It involves Area 51, and... Uh, of course it does. And I, I don't know how the fuck it got greenlit because this came right? out in 98 the sequel came out in 2000 so i'm like you're two years you're two years after a four-year expiration date man man when did the x-files hurting. movie come out around this time it yeah. could be that this is like maybe this is a, a script maybe the that, movie is gonna make people be like aliens i think that's though. it i think i think that oh no i think grant wrote the script in like 96 yeah, probably and then had it in a drawer and they were like get the fuck out of here and then and he's like, oh, the, the X Files movie came out, and they're like, uh, got that alien script. And they're like, right all right, fine. Have Bray Fogle do a gorgeous cover for no reason at all. Yeah. Baffling. Well, the comic book industry is fucking dead. Why not? <laughs> That's you know, true. They already ruined it. Heart. It's over. Yep. Marvel has everything. Marvel's going bankrupt. No, Image is over, too. Like, they, yeah. they're shipping way too many books. It's. It's like, done. You want to do your stupid alien book? Fine. Now's the time. Nobody cares. It's over. Whatever. <laughs> Six bucks. How about that? Um, so. I mean, it does look good. Yeah, it's Norm Brayfogle. It's. I mean, like, I, 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 I wish that Brayfogle wasted Brayfogle on had, the stupid I, idea. No, I, I thought about doing both, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> we don't have time for the sequel because it, it's, it's equally involved. You know? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh God. We gotta go. That'd to be a whole one. new episode. Yeah. Which maybe we'll do one day. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Batman versus aliens, <laughs> I guess, but not those aliens. Batman versus I aliens. like Batman versus aliens. <laughs> this is Batman hallucinates aliens. Yep. This is Batman X Files. Yeah, but but that hour, where to go? Uh, also, outside of the convention center, there are literal Men in Black, like the yep. the two characters from Men in Black holding like stupid alien weapons and stuff. Yep. I'm like, it was also a Spock. Oh yeah, walking around. He's an alien too. Yeah. You know? I I thought I saw a weird camera person. Mm -hmm. I suddenly realized now it's a Borg. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, if this is collected anywhere, it is in the comments down below for you to read this. It will no doubt be packaged with a sequel if it's available, but you could just get it for a buck like I did. <laughs> so just go hunting for Batman, the abduction. Thanks for trip. watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next week with an all new episode. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Or am I? Oh, the truth is out there. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> What season did you quit the X Files?